Celtic Cornish Celtic music, so it's the traditional music of Cornwall, played by a variety of different musicians and singers and various different groups. And how many will be lining up, would you say? Well, we've got um, four different groups, haven't we? Um, Bagus de Gaulle, who are a, a, a band from Penzance, quite a new, a newly formed band of musicians who have been working in Penzance area for a long time in the Galoam band and oh, so yes. on. Um, and they'll be they'll be starting proceedings off with leading a procession with all performers on the stage. Um, and then um, Keskana Harmony Singing Group, which I'm part of, and we'll be doing unaccompanied harmony singing some of the the sort of favourite. Um, Cornish songs, um, and then that'll be that in between, interspersed between the different bands throughout the evening to make it sort of really flow. We'll have Merv Davy playing the pipes, oh, yes. which is a <laughs> spectacular sight. Merv gets he? everywhere. <laughs> They're going to hear that right across on the Lizard, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, he he performed last year when we did the the BBC Music Live concert, and uh, it was greatly enjoyed. And then the the, the final band is uh, um, Dalla, the um, uh, new Cornish. Cornish music band with uh, featuring um, Neil Davy from the other well-known group Bucker mm. a few years ago. Oh, I remember them I'm well. Sure, you, of you do. Yeah. I only wish we had one of those LPs still in the Graham Library, but mm. it disappeared. It went. We'll have to. We'll track one for you. Have yeah. you got one yes, somewhere? There is one somewhere. We'll oh, we'll I'd get you love, a copy. Oh, I'd love to play once again the hole in the. Piper's head or something. The hole in the harper's head. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that Merv was, was the har harper yes. with the hole in the head. Yeah. I played that so much on the Coast to Coast program in the mm. early days of Radio Cornwall. Yeah, I mean that was really a sort of seminal um, CD years ago, and now it's great to see there's so many more different bands. All the things that have sprung from that beginning. Yes. Mm, yes, yeah. I'm sure. So finally, the 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 last group will be Dalla with um with Neil Davy and with Hilary Coleman playing the clarinet and Simon Lockley the guitar. And, and what that, about the experience of? Are playing at the minute. Well, it's absolutely marvellous. It could initially, it could be quite in awe inspiring, but I think the nature of what we're doing, you soon enter into the spirit of bringing Cornwall's living culture alive and presenting it to the people in the here and now, not just as a past tradition, but very much as a t here and today tradition still happening and still in the future happening. Of course, we've got dance there on stage as well, haven't we? That's right. We're hoping to pull off a couple of death defying feats on death stage. Death defying feats! <laughs> Including doing a, a step dance on top of the turrets, oh. as, as long as we don't fall off. To be careful, please. Without safety nets, too. Yes. <laughs> you down there rehearsing at the moment? Yes, we've had a couple of run-throughs, so I think that we'll hold steady. And, uh, well, I hope it goes very well. That's Saturday night. Uh, a brief mention, too, of Sunday night, I think, when uh, Cornish, well, traditional sounds, really. Yes, I think on, on the Sunday we have the Mausel Male Voice Choir, very much enjoyed by a wide audience, and the St Kevin Youth Band, just to show the other f side of Cornish flavours. I think Saturday has a contemporary emphasis on it, and the Sunday is much more traditional in format. Yeah, well, let's hope the weather is fine, because that's what you need at the minute, yes. isn't it? And, um, well... If anything, if it's too far, you sometimes get distractions from boats going along behind the performers. But uh, it's all part of the experience of going to the lovely Minnick, isn't it? Yes, really? I, I think the, the idea of performing is you tap into the ambience of the natural surroundings and the sunset, particularly for an evening performance. And it's got 150% of that at the moment. That's so right. Certainly it has. So, what about tickets? Well, yes, tickets are available um, on the night. They don't have to be uh, pre-booked pre or anything. Um, and um, if uh, people want more, more details, they can always ring up the Minac about that. Um, and uh, But they do cost... Um, this is the Saturday night we're talking about mm -hmm. here. Um, mm -hmm. They cost £6 for adults, £3 for under-16, and uh, £13 for a family ticket, and under-4s are free. Um, but people will be able to call the Minac Theatre or, in fact, look at the Minac Theatre website for details of both concerts. Yes, excellent website at the Minac Theatre. Their number is 01736 610694. That's the Minac Theatre box office. 01736 610694. Shall we play some music for, from Saturday night's performance, or that's typical of Saturday night's performance? What shall we play? Yes, I think the, the track that we've selected 
is uh, linked to the actual launch of this particular CD, the King Harry Ferry tune that ha now has a, a dance attached to it. And during Saturday, we're going to actually make the sound of the feet of the the sound of the chain. The chains clanking with our feet, come, 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 as in a come, feet come, drum. Come, come, that sort of thing. That's right. And at the beginning of the track, you'll hear those said chains, and then it goes into the tune and the dance. Let's unchain this CD then and take it away. Sound of Dalla. Piece of music called the King Harry Ferry, complete with chains. One of the groups performing then, yes, at the Minnock Theatre tomorrow evening for that very fine concert celebrating Cornwall's living culture. Minnick Theatre box office is 01736 810694. First public event at the Minnock this year, so do get down there tomorrow evening, or on Sunday indeed. Different kind of concert then. Mousel Male Voice Choir with St. Kevin Youth Band, the famous St. Kevin Youth Band too. That number again, 01736 810694. I 
see the Brunettes, a local band in Falmouth, are launching their debut CD tonight. Gillenvay's Beach Cafe in Falmouth. Anyone welcome to attend? Should be an enjoyable night. The sailor to his true love, I will sing you a song. It's a false hearted woman which makes me to say, Very well, lovely Nancy, for I must go away. It's a false hearted woman which makes me to say, Very well, lovely Nancy, for I must go away. On yonder high moorland, the wildfowl do fly. There is one fair amongst them, close than others more high. Suit of my maid, my heart is an eagle with wings wide outspread. It's a wreck and flyeth in pursuit of my maid. Sound of Dalla can be heard with other bands at the Galawan Festival. All the excitement of the big day, the Maisie Day, is tomorrow. Dalla will be there and again on Sunday with their unique and exciting live sound. It says here on the CD that I'm playing this afternoon. And let me introduce Dalla to you in the order they're sitting in front of me. Simon Lockley Brown and Neil Davy and Hilary Coleman here. Thanks very much Hiya. for uh, for coming in. Uh, some of this music goes back a long way um some of it's new in a sense how do you how do you like to describe it it's cornish in uh-huh. root obviously yeah, yeah. what do you what do you say um, i think some some of it's definitely based in uh t- traditional music which uh, we've collected um and we've used uh resources collected by neil's brother merv, merv davy yeah. um and what we've done with them is play around with them until we play them the way we like to play them basically Take liberties sometimes <laughs> with the tradition but 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 we we all the new the new things we've written are all based on, on those because all of us have had such a long history in playing Cornish music that we're quite used to the style of it and so we can't help but create music in that style anyway you yeah know. traditional style yeah and Merv's quite happy with what you're doing to I it think as well. so so far you haven't told me otherwise so. <laughs> <laughs> I well, think that, so that's very good that first track that we were playing there what was that that was uh, Streams of Lovely Nancy which um, is uh, a, a the song was collected in Helston, and although um, it's known, the words are known uh, fairly common throughout the folk world, if you like, um, the tune itself is very unique to Cornwall, and that's what you'll find a lot in the Cornish 
uh, songs that the words may be common elsewhere, but the tunes are distinct. Mm. I see that you, uh, you've you been 15 years of playing traditional Cornish music. You come from the, the Tamer. Oh, you, yeah. you spread right across Cornwall, the three yeah, of you, yeah. really. <laughs> yeah, we, we defend the borders, that's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I wondered whether you, you each bring your own thing from areas to, to it and bring them together, mm. or doesn't it work? It's a bit more difficult to... Uh, um, yes and no, really, because... Put your finger on, really, isn't mm, that? Uh, mm. When I was growing up in St Agnes, there wasn't a lot of folk music available at the time. It was... Uh, I was into reggae and all sorts of different things. Yeah. So we bring elements mm. uh, other than folk music to, to the album. That's certainly true. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What right. happened to folk music in Cornwall? Because it was quite hot in the, in the 60s, wasn't it? We go back that far. Lots of folk clubs and that's that sort right, of thing. That's right, yes, yeah. Did it die I think down? It, I think it's changed, you know, in a different way. There's a move towards more towards the, the Celtic traditional stuff, I suppose. I mean, what was strong in the 60s, I think, was the, the folk clubs generally. And, you know, singing and... Brenda Wooten, of course, was running a great club down in, in mm. Newlyn. Down there. I, uh, I think in particular that the 60s was a time of uh, the folk song being a very political statement. You know, like you've got Bob Dylan and uh, our famous uh, local person, Bert Bisco. If <laughs> you probably know him as a councillor, yeah, but he was a singer a and a very, uh, you know, he sang very political songs way back in the 60s. Uh, what you've got now is a, a much more of an interest in in geographical as Neil was saying, the Celtic identity, mm. and I think that's growing in Cornwall, that our idea, our, our, our identity of who yeah, we that's are. That's good, isn't it? And uh, you're taking it far and far and wide, really, too, aren't you? We hope so. Do our best. I mean, I mentioned Galawan, but uh, goodness me, I've got a list here, some of the places that you're going. You're going to Bodmin Heritage, uh, yeah. and uh, Lewin, Porth Town, it's Nos, 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 Nos Lewin. Nos Lewin, yeah. It's coming, which is it? Coming up. Yeah. That's a type of dance, uh, well, it's a, a type of evening of dance in Oslo, and which is uh, a, a, sort of like uh, the Breton Fest Nos, but it's, a Corn it's all Cornish dancing, so, yeah. which is catching on. The, nice. the, Nos, the Nos bit means what? Night. Night. And Lewin is, uh, well, like a festivity or happy happy night or night festival. You're very at home in Brittany, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Aren't you? Yeah. And what about uh, the Celtic Congress? Uh, that's Wren, isn't it? Coming yeah. up. That's so right, yeah. So at the end of July, uh, we're going to go over to Wren for a week and uh, be playing, we're, we're, we're the Cornish representatives there. Um, for, oh, it's, it's a gathering of all the Celtic nations. Not competitive? I, no, I don't think it's not a competition. More of That's a conference, like, really, yeah. for meet, people from all the different Celtic countries mm. meeting up. Mm, must and be a great exchange of, uh, been, of cultures, yeah. really, yeah. And, and ideas. You find you come back with uh, things that you want to play and see and work? Good, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. It's a good mm. networking opportunity. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I remember, I mean, the Davy family, so so well known in connection with music, yeah. as we've said already. You've been what twenty years playing, I know. Long I in the tooth now. Right? <laughs> no, yeah. I wouldn't say that. Nuki, <laughs> Nuki, Nuki boy, I think musical family. That's right. Yeah. Well, there's certainly on my mum's side. The, the, the mandolins were a big thing in my family. It went back about three generations, and my mum sort of got us all playing. All the Davy brothers play mandolin, sort of first, and then lots of other instruments on top. Well, you know, Mer plays the pipes yeah. and whatever. It's a, uh, absolutely. There's a lot. Of, yeah. She played in the uh, Goon Haven Banjo Band. That's right, yeah. Yes. Oh, briefly, she says. <laughs> and, and can I mention Bucker, too? Because that can, comes yeah. Well, it, it just... Um, I heard, overheard you mention the other day you hadn't heard this record before. I just put one in for you to have a look at. It was just the, oh, the original yes. Hole in the Harper's Head Bucker. And, and now that an, it's an antique now, really. It's, this is only available on vinyl at the moment. But the, the Bucker album that we made with myself and my brothers 20 years ago this year... So I'm, I'm hoping we'll get that out on CD in the, you know, this year to celebrate the mm. anniversary. Well, the thing was, I was very sorry to see that it disappeared mysteriously from the BBC <laughs> Gold <Gallery laughs> Library. <Yeah. laughs> Someone must have liked it. In the man. <laughs> well, I used to like it on yeah. the, the early programme when we used to play music mm -hmm. years, years ago. Hey, holding the harper's head and all yeah. that, that sort of thing, I enjoyed. Yeah. But look, let's listen to a bit more music from this CD with Dana. <laughs> Daddy's gone and go away, your mommy's gone. Where has your mommy gone so early in the evening? 
Where has your mommy gone, gone away to Bermo? Where has your mommy gone so early in the evening? Where has your mommy gone, gone away to Bermo? See the pig dressed up so fine, glazing through the window pane And go where your mommy's gone, gone away to Bermo Go where your daddy's gone and go where your mommy's gone And go where your brother's gone Where has your brother gone so early in the evening? Where has your brother gone, gone away to Bermo? Where has your brother gone so early in the evening? Where has your brother gone, gone away to Bermo? Sing a carol round the fire, there's no need of a chapel choir. Go where your brother's gone, gone away to Bermo. I think that's a Dick Gendel song, isn't it? That's right. That's fair right. Mo, St Ives Fair Mo, mm -hmm. which means? It's, fair Mo is pig fair. I suppose we ought to explain Dalla, didn't we, really? Dalla nice. itself, the name of your the band. The name is in Cornish, as you would expect, and it means, uh, it has two meanings, either uh, to begin or to dazzle. <laughs> to begin or to dazzle. Well, that's appropriate enough. We felt, we felt that we were embarking on a, a, a new... Uh, new time in Cornish music and new era a new yeah. era and so we thought Dalla was a good name yeah <laughs> how do you it's good how do you define that that new era and where is it likely to take us do you think Simon oh it's a difficult question really we're, we're, we're just at the beginning of something obviously as the name describes um, and all our influences put together hopefully will sort of create some kind of new pride in Cornish but, music I mean I might uh, be resurgence maybe, mm. maybe because I'm, I'm an optimist anyway but I do get a feeling at the moment there's a sort of definitely a resurgence in Cornwall in like a feeling of confidence that's and and that it's okay to be Cornish and people are feeling more proud I mean people always had felt proud to be Cornish but there's you don't feel you have to explain yourself so much anymore and there's you no know, there's definitely a growing feeling like that I think and there's more few folk yeah. music yeah. going on yeah but it's not just in the folk it's, you know, it's in you know there's lots of different things going on that make you feel like yeah things are happening here and it's turning up mm. yeah. I did enjoy the one that you uh, you created from really an inspiration of King Harry Ferry yes. I was on the ferry last week and I thought of you <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely setting that down was there. an inspiration yeah. from Neil really wasn't it yeah, it's was a place I used to go to as, as a child was it? and I, I loved it and, and the sound of the chains as well so when we I had I had this tune which I named after the ferry, the King Harry Ferry Ferry, which uh, because I love the name anyway. <laughs> yeah. And we had we used on the CD we actually used the the sound of the chains of the the ferry as well as a, a rhythmic accompaniment. You do. I'm not going to play that track no, now, but, but actually you've got a chance to win a copy of this CD in just a moment, so you can play it to your heart's content just mm -hmm. then. But no, I thought I was very clever indeed, and um, not not a little um, advert for the ferry, of course. <laughs> the, the King, King well, Harry Ferry. I think they they do deserve an advert because they were absolutely brilliant. For, um, to us and uh, just so friendly and so accommodating so um, we're quite happy to give them a plug yeah I, I found them very friendly last week we cycled across there it's part mm -hmm. of the Cornish way you know now oh, yeah. it's, it is looking forward to the weekend in Penzance oh yes. lovely yeah Gilloan's always a good you know, good fun and we're playing there uh, tomorrow and Sunday Sunday afternoon at 4 p.m. down in the the big marquee at the the key fair we play down there and um, a bit of so dancing. Saturday, we're just generally around the town playing acoustically in the streets. Mm. That'll that mm. be fun. Well, the, and the weather's looking, goes around. looking yeah. set fair, yeah. isn't it? The yeah. weather? Yeah, yeah. it's going to be, be nice. quite a sunny weekend, I think. Yeah, isn't it could it? be a scorcher. Yeah. So but what about some music here that, um, that might go with uh, with Glowen? I don't know. And uh, if I play you this one, it's uh, track uh, one, or it will be in a moment, track one on your CD, because uh, a bit of instrumental music here, which I know you'd like us to hear. Yeah. Here's a chance to win a copy of Dalla's CD. If you ring us on Truro 222222, what does Dalla mean? We explained that just now. The meaning of Dalla itself, then? Roughly speaking, if you don't remember precisely, we'll take your answer. 01872 222222, a CD giveaway here. I know you play a lot for uh, for dancing, and you do that regularly, in fact, don't that's, you? That's right. Um, we we uh, started to think of a new a new idea. Basically, we went over to Brittany, 
and uh, Simon and I were standing in, in, in the most wonderful Fesnoz, um, which is the Breton dancing, and it, there was so much atmosphere, and it was there were young and old people alike, including teenagers, everybody. It was a really fashionable, trendy thing to be doing, and uh, we just thought, we've got to do that, we've got to do that in Cornwall, and um, so so Simon said, yeah, let's call it a Nozluan. So we thought, yes, brilliant name, and the idea being that the dances are so simple, people can just join in, they, you don't need a caller, and you can get a really good atmosphere going, because you're, you're playing the whole time. Very sociable. So accessible. if you don't need a caller, how do people know the steps? Because you watch basically because the, the dances are so simple. You can you can watch whoever does know the dance, and it doesn't take long. Just like that, you just join in. Yeah, nice we can't quite believe leader. how how well it's catching on. Really, we you know, we thought it'd be a nice idea, but people are really going for it. Mm. So where's the next one of those? Every the first Saturday every month in the the wonderful new Port Town and Village Hall, which uh -huh. is a lovely hall to play in. All right. We we started it in December, and uh, just each month there's more and more people coming, not only to dance but to play. And so can we play? And, and we we sort of host it, but then we have other bands playing, and it's just becoming a really exciting event. So first Saturday of the month, get down to Port Town, mm. the new Village Hall. It's only That's two right. pounds yeah. on the door. Sounds good to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much indeed, members of Dalla this afternoon, Hilary Coleman, Neil Davy, and Simon. And Lockley Brown. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Four hand reel from Dalla, my first guests on the program this afternoon. 103.9 in the west, 95.2 in the east, and 96 FM on the Isles of Scilly. Radio Cornwall from the BBC.